Hey guys, it's me, Indiana Jones. What am I doing? Crafts. What am I doing it right now? For this minis challenge, I'm gonna make some mini summer fun foods. That's right. First thing, I'm gonna get some spackle from the Dollar Tree. If you've never made faux food before, get yourself some spackle. Spackle's always good to have around the house anyway. I love saying the word spackle. Spackle, spackle, spackle. Anyway, take the spackle, put some, uh, a little bit of, a few drops of water and some acrylic paint. Here I'm using pink, obviously, because I'm gonna make a pink milkshake. And these cups are sold at the Dollar Tree. These are like those appetizer cups. Check out in the bridal section or whatever. And uh, yeah, they're the perfect cups to make these little mini shakes. I love making these little shakes. It's just so much fun. Then I'm gonna take some cosmetic foam and shove them in the cup. Why? Because I don't wanna spend my spackle. And I don't wanna fill the whole cup with spackle. That doesn't make sense. It's a waste of spackle. I like spackle. Again, one of my favorite words, spackle. Now we're going to use some, uh, I guess this is a, uh, what is this called? Silicon grout or whatever it's called. Now this one I had laying around the house, but there is some grout that you can buy. Grout? I don't know if it's called grout. Whatever it is, you know, it comes in a, it comes in a tube like that and it's white and you can buy it at the Dollar Tree as well. I think it's black and white. I think the outside is black and white. And there you use a little holly berry and a straw. And there's your little shake, so cute. Oh, but wait, there's more. I forgot I put sprinkles on it. So I'm using seeds to like add little sprinkles. Now the, the grout or whatever that's called dried up a little at the top. So I just have to like make sure I got it in there, but it looks cute. Next, I'm gonna start creating some ice cream. So first I'm gonna mix it with a little, using the spackle, using the spackle once again. I'm gonna separate it into little cups and I added a few drops of water just to make it easier to mix. Add some white just to make it, because the speckle's like a grayish color, so add a little bit of white just to make sure that the color comes out exactly how you want it. So now I'm mixing up colors to make it look like ice cream. Um, I added a little bit of this like goldeny, beigey color to make it look like vanilla. And I also added a little bit of baking soda. You'll see that in the next step. Where did I go? Where? Hello? There I am. Okay. So, I don't know what I do when I do these videos. Anyway, so here I am mixing my spackle. I got, I got strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, and then I said, oh, I want pistachio. Pistachio. Yes, pistachio. So I put a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, or beigey white. I use beigey white. And there you go, look at that green. I just like the color green, and I think it looks cool with a pink. So, not necessarily like that I like pistachio, although I love pistachios. Do you really care that I like pistachios? No, you just wanna see what I'm making here. What am I doing, anyway? So, I digress. I go off on tangents. So now I add a little bit of, see, there I am, adding baking soda. Why am I adding baking soda? Because that gives it that ice creamy kind of texture. I don't know. I've seen other people do it, so yeah, I do it. I watched The Pink Tree and Davida Lane. They're the ones that, um, you know, they're the ones that kind of influenced me in the way of making faux food. So check them out, Davida Lane and, of course, The Pink Tree. She is great at doing faux foods. So there you go. There I have my three little ice creams. Yes, I'm using my scooper that I use for cookies. I'm gonna wash this anyway, you know, it's not like I'm gonna you know, keep it around, but the the I think the spackle is non-toxic and I believe the paint is non-toxic. I know for sure that the paint is non-toxic. So you just use your little scooper and, you know, make sure it's filled to the hilt and then just uh, scoop out your little ice cream scoops in a bowl, in a little mini bowl that I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so now we're just scooping out the last scoop. Don't worry, I will clean the scooper. It should be fine, don't worry. All right, now, we need some chocolate sauce. So I'm using Plaid FX. Why Plaid FX? Because it's acrylic paint and it keeps that like acrylic, I don't know, it's 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 a flexible acrylic paint and it, I know it works better, especially for l things looking like sauces. Then I'm gonna use the grout and make it look like whipped cream. And then I'm gonna use a holly berry. I'm using holly berries instead of cherries because a cherry would be too big, but a holly berry is perfect for these little mini desserts. This is so much fun. I have so much fun. I'm serious. It's just, you know, 
I mean, to be honest, my house is a complete wreck, but my crafts are really cute, you can tell. Here I'm using those seed beads again um, that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm using those as sprinkles, and there's my little holly berry as a cherry, and we're done. Are we done? Yeah, oh, wait, a little spoon. There you go, now we're done, Wee! Now I'm gonna make mini ice cream cones. The little cones I actually made with burlap fabric. I got this um, laminated burlap fabric sheets from burlap, burlapfabric.com for all your burlap needs, yeah. So yes, look how cute these cones came out and it's perfect with this burlap sheets that they have, it's fantastic. So all I'm doing is I scooped out the ice cream as I did before, as you saw me before, I was gonna make another video of me scooping out ice cream made from spackle, but there I am and I'm just attaching the ice cream cones with some hot glue. Look how cute, it's so cute. Okay, and again, like I said that, those sheets, you can buy those sheets, I believe at Hobby Lobby, but if not, you can buy them from burlapfabric.com. They're inexpensive and it doesn't take that long to ship actually, like three or four days. So there are my ice cream cones and I'm just waiting for them to set before I put them in their little stand. So I'm just putting them in this little flower pot for now. Now I'm gonna create a little stand for my ice creams. Ice cream, love the ice cream. Actually, I don't need a lot of desserts, you know that? It's funny. So I was painting this and then I decided, well, let me paint a pink. I just wanted something very summery and colorful, something that you would see like on the beach and like a little stand. So here I am adding those little blocks. Mind you, this, this little um, wooden thingamajigger was from Dollar Tree. I don't know what to call it. What is it called? Oh, you know, it's a pallet. It's a pallet, that's it. It's a mini pallet. So all I'm doing is adding those little wooden blocky things to the back so it could stand up. I thought it would stand up, but no, kept falling over, kept falling over. It's like, Annie, get it together. And then I was like, okay, wait, I need to do something. And let me tell you, once you stick something down with Sherbond or glue, it sticks, it sticks. So I had to put two little cubes in the front. I don't know if you can see that, like made little foot. Now I'm using some of that um, fuzzy wire stuff uh, and uh, making little holders for my cones. I didn't know what else to do. So I thought these little holders would be cute. And there you go, you just stick your little ice creams in there. It's so cute. Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry ready for you. If you didn't figure this out already, this is part of the mini challenge that is hosted every month by Corey of Crafted by Corey. Corey is a sweet, dear friend of mine, and I love the idea of making little things, as you can see. So let's see what other cute things come in small packages. Next, I thought it would be fun to make snow cones. What's, what's summer without snow cones? I mean, come on, really? So I'm using Plaid FX, Plaid FX from the Plaid family of products. So Plaid FX in red, white, and blue. Well, I didn't have to use white, but just red and blue. And then I'm going to use some fake snow. I know it's not Christmas time, but I have like a container of Christmas crafty stuff. And I found the fake snow and I'm like, oh my gosh, how perfect. So all you need is a styrofoam ball, which they sell at the Dollar Tree. And uh, some of this fake snow, if you have it hanging around. And I mixed it together with the Plaid FX. And I also add a little bit of Mod Podge to the paint and the fake um, snow, just so it would stick. And I also put Mod Podge on the styrofoam ball. You can't see because I'm off camera. Why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know. So there I am just mushing it. This was fun. Just mush it into the snow and then do it again for the blue side and smush it, smush it, smush it. Now you can say, oh, I could just leave the white like that, but I wanted the little sparkly snow in the white section as well. So I took the time to Mod Podge it and put some of the white and you had your snow cone. Okay, this was so much fun. I don't know, all of these projects were so much fun. Oh, if you're stuck at home on a rainy day, make these, this is just too much. So here I'm taking out my air dry clay from Crayola and I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it with that, with my, what is that called? Roller, I guess, roller? Yeah, I guess it's a roller. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies rolling. Okay, so I'm done with the roller. I, you know, I. 
I, I guess it's like an eighth of an inch thick if you're gonna get technical. And I'm making a pie slice. I'm gonna make it look like pie crust. You'll see, you'll see, look. Then I use this little um, cupcake, it's a big cupcake thing, um, just so I can get, but you can use a regular cupcake thing. I just wanted to get the little ridges on the back of the dough, of the pie dough, so it looked like it was in a pie tin. So this is the closest thing I had. And uh, yeah, that is going to be the bottom. Now I'm gonna use those cosmetic wedges again because I didn't wanna fill it up all with my little holly berries because I didn't have a lot of holly berries. So I filled it up and now, this is so much fun. Now I filled up the pie with my little baby cherries that are actually holly berries. Holly berry. <laughs> anyway, I always think of the actress, Holly Berry. So. Now I'm just going to fill it up with my little baby cherries. There's a better look. And actually, while I was doing this, I was like, that actually looks like, you know, like cherry cheesecake or something to me. It was actually looking very appetizing. Now, here's the fun part. Use your hot glue to make it look like pie goo. Pie goo? Pie goo? I don't know. You know, the pie stuff, the pie, what is that called? You know, the sugar and all that stuff? Well, that, it, you know, the clear, glue kind of makes it look like that pie stuff you know that holds all the fruits together so now I'm just putting the top layer of my pie finishing off the crust and then making a little pie hole I guess it's called it's a steam hole you know you have to have a steam hole and then I'm going to look how cute it looks look so I'm just adding a little more glue just to like See how cool it just makes all those little cherries glisten. You can also use resin, but resin's a little messier. And um, I am going to have some resin projects, but I think the, the hot glue is perfect. And there you can see the back and the edging. And now all I'm doing now is just adding some baked color. So I'm just painting it with a little bit of acrylic paint from Plaid Products. And that's it, that's my little pa. I think it looks so cute. I hope you guys think so too. Now I'm gonna make popsicles using forming foam. And this is, look at this, this is so much fun. Watch this, watch this. It's like marshmallow foam. It's so much fun to work with. It is in my Amazon shop. If you wanna check it out, go check out my Amazon shop. And here I am just forming it into a popsicle. So I'm using the wax paper to shape the foam just so it won't have my finger divots or my fingerprints or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, it just makes it smooth. This foam is so much fun to play with, to work with. You'll love it. The minute you start with it, you will really love it. And it's very cool to make um, faux foods with it simply because it's lighter material than clay and uh, it's just great. Now I'm using some Plata FX paints because it's a flexible acrylic and it's perfect on this type of material. It's wonderful. And so there's my, look how cute, this is my creamsicle. It looks like a real creamsicle. I love it. You can also make marshmallows, which I had there, but eh, I didn't, I didn't like, I was gonna make like cooked marshmallows or roasted marshmallows. But now here I'm, oh gosh, I, I forgot what these ice creams are called, but these were my favorites. These, this is my favorite type of ice cream with the, you know, the candy coating on the outside and just plain vanilla on the inside. Look at that. And no, I didn't take a bite out of it. I actually used my nails to make it look like a bite was taken out of the ice cream. And uh, that, again, Plot FX. That paint is perfect. Those are the other colors I used for the orange. And that paint is just perfect. Look at that glossy sheen. It looks like real chocolate on that uh, ice cream. So, and here we have it. My pie with my ice cream, my snow cone. I love it. This was so much fun. I, I hope you guys take a chance and make any of these. I would love to see what you guys come up with. And there's my little ice cream stand. But again, so much fun and no calories. Did you like my little cherry pie? I loved making it and my little mini ice cream cones. I had so much fun with this challenge. Can you tell? It's like there's nothing better than faux foods except of course the real thing. But at least these look good and they don't fatten you up. Anyway, thanks again Corey for hosting this challenge on a monthly basis. Check it out and check out everyone else on this playlist. 
truly very creative crafters here. And if you enjoyed this and had fun, well, hey, come on back for more. You can like, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, stay safe, be kind, God bless you. And remember to live a little adventure. <laughs> See you back here soon. Bye.